All right, guys, Crypto Freedom back with another ICO. This is Shivam, and it's looking to put your DNA on the blockchain. Now, the information is secure, it's private, but ultimately you can sell it, you can donate it, um, and it's utilized for medical research and other things because obviously you can get ancestral research and other bits and pieces from it. So I'll just give you a quick run through the, uh, what you've got here. This is their ecosystem. Shivam is creating a genomics ecosystem on the blockchain. We'll be, we will offer an open marketplace for healthcare providers to add their apps and services alongside genomic data analytics and personalized medicine. Transform genomic data into usable information, break down data silos, help accelerate clinical trials, facilitate drug research and development, sponsor sequencing projects to get access to relevant data. So one of the things you've got there, although you'll be giving your DNA up, remember that you'll also get information back because you'll be able to get some information relating to your ancestral history, your medical, you know, maybe the early diagnosis for things or something that's relevant to your genetic makeup. Uh, the point being is is beneficial for everybody. Now, this web uh, video, I do recommend having a quick watch, just to get a feel for it. And what their vision is, accelerate the age of genomics, improve global health, jumpstart genome-based prediction medicine, and ensure the next level of data privacy. You can read that yourself. Um, a lot of people have, don't have access to the same data information um, globally, because obviously my personal th thoughts on this is quite simply Western medicine spends a lot more in the West, because quite simply it's worth a lot more money. Um, so at the end of the day, there's a lot of developing nations that don't have access to the same sort of level of DNA um, research, etc., which could actually identify particular things and help improve health generally, globally. And this is one of the things that Siobhan can actually do. Now, we go over to the executive summary. And the reason I'm not going to go over the white paper, it's a fairly lengthy one. Um, but the first thing I want to point out is you cannot invest in this if you're from the United States. Um, now, why you should do it, we've already discussed most of that already. How it works, basically you sign up, get DNA kit or get their kit, get your saliva. Then when you send the information back, you learn about your ancestral information, donate or sell your information on their system and you'll get a personal health insights from your generic genetic data. So there could be health, well-being, and even food things related to your DNA makeup. So it's, it's worth doing. Now, the cost per genome is actually reducing to around $100. Now, the, the thing with this is, um, for a lot of medical research, the data has, even at $100, is expensive because the catchment, of information is often limited. With this, you could actually do it yourself, get your DNA on the, on the blockchain, and you own it, you control it, but ultimately the price will come down for gen per genome. But instead of them having like say 200 people, they could have 200,000 people, you know, with specifics as well. So they can actually screen out exactly what they're looking for for their medical research. So there's a lot of important bits around this. Now, the benefits, identifying the best course of care for patients, prevention of disease in healthy individuals, prediction of disease risks, disease diagnosis, treatment, including choice of most effective medication and dosage. Because obviously, if the medical companies, the farmers are on there as well, then there'll be clinical trials and other stuff that's actually interwoven with people with the same conditions all around the globe. And you can actually see which ones are working. So there's a positive on that side as well. Disease prognosis and identify new drug targets. Uh, your data is secure, you have ownership of it, you can read that on how the keys are locked, but you control the data the whole time. And how the stakeholder structure works is as the patient, the farmers pay for your information, you decide what, the, what access is given to the farmer, to the doctor, and if you do like a, a drink or other things, um, you can actually block the farmer from receiving that data 
uh, but your doctor should know. Um, but the point being is it keeps your data secure and obviously limits access to information related to your drinking habits, etc. Um, patient stratification problem. Usually only small groups of people are studying clinical trials, but it's pretty obvious. Uh, without a large genomic data, it's hard to know who will respond to a certain treatment and what they don't respond well, it's hard to know why. This wastes time and resources. Using genomic data to inform clinical trials, researchers and clinicians can use genomic data to figure out which patients are likely to be unresponsive to a treatment. Then they can target subgroups and patients that will benefit the most. This allows effective treatments to be available more quickly, which gets to my main point that if you're dealing with a group of like 200 instead of 200,000, um, you're very limited to what access you have. So having the right data it improves and accelerates access to treatment. Um, there's a bit about the drug development. I do recommend having a read of that yourself. The white, this is a technical paper, by the way. Um, oh, sorry, the executive summary. This is not the white paper, which is another document. Now, my thoughts on this. The, the fact is, it's a very important one from a medical point of view. Um, because you can actually highlight risks and stuff to people they may not even be aware that it's happening to them. You know, the other side of this being is because the information is accessible for specific medical trials and a bigger data catch and specific data, for example, maybe you've isolated the gene that you want to research, but there's only 20 people in your area that have got it. With this sort of information that's accessible, you could multiply that thousandfold you know at the end of the day the amount of people that could have that same gene you can actually identify them where they are on the planet and maybe there could be a point of contact there for trials testing whatever um, but the point being is it accelerates medical research which is the important bit uh, the roadmap as you can say see it's fairly extensive um, there's a lot going on and I'm going to let you read this yourself um, because what you're looking at, the important bits here, is it's already started 2016. And when we come all the way around to 2019, the AI, AI platform will be out in the first quarter of 2019. So the point being, all these bits and pieces are going on in between, but you're looking at the, an early start, first quarter 2019 for a full-blown launch. Um, I do recommend having a read through yourself, but that's a short timeline to get this running. Token distribution. Um, the Amex token is a key component that enables buying, trading, incentivizing other services. The token is the fuel of the Shivom ecosystem as well as part of the governance of the system. The advantages, ability to acquire premium services on the Shivom ecosystem, ability to acquire genome sequencing kits, Ability to sponsor sequencing, sequencing projects. Ability to acquire access to health fitness apps from third-party providers. Ability to access the genome database. Ability to pay donors for data participating in research studies. And the ability for service providers to use the platform. Um, you can acquire tokens during the token sale from secondary markets and for, from rewards. Um, I would say that, as far as I'm aware, the ICO main sale hasn't got a fixed date on it. Was it on the... Okay, where are we? Go up to 2018. Foundation partnership with major cryptocurrencies. Sequencing projects. Medical center. Partnership with major data. Yeah, I don't think the date's been fixed yet for the main sale, so I do recommend emailing them, getting on their Telegram and getting a bit of an update if it's one you're interested in. 3 billion tokens will be generated, 990 million Omics tokens will be sold during the ICO process, 90 million Omics tokens will be distributed to the community to grow and nurture the Shivom ecosystem for bounty programs to leverage network effects and for community initiatives to reward developers, entrepreneurs, and strategists. Founders, 420 million OMEX will be allocated for founders to support the development of the Shivom ecosystem and their continued long-term alignment with the project. And advisors, 300 million OMEX will be allocated for early backers and global network of advisors. Incentivized growth pools, 600 million will be allocated in a smart contract allocated to the database and introduced into circulation as rewards for data generation. And then there's 600 million held in reserve. 
How do we use it? 20% for the development, 11% for operations, 10% non-profit research and development platform, 21% marketing and formation platform, 5% legal, 2% proof of concept, um, 6% data story, 25% laboratory, setting up a global network of labs and counseling services. An extensive team, and obviously they know exactly what they're doing. They've seen the the gap in the market. Another problem that you do get is solo working, because obviously if I'm researching a project here and I've gathered these data, these bits of data from DNA, I, it's very unlikely I'm even going to share them with other people in the same university, the same hospital, etc. Um, there's a lot of silo working. Doing it this way gets everybody in the same space, which is an important bit. And I do recommend looking up the guys through their um, LinkedIn, get a feeling for them. But from everything I've seen so far, they seem very professional, got a lot of background to them, a lot of ways to contact them, speak to them direct, get a feel for it. But it's definitely a project um, that I'm interested in myself because it can have so many advantages for the human race as a whole. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. And if you do like the video, please like, please subscribe, and please share. And always feel free to comment.